Right, so hey guys, what is going on? My name is Boo Hats. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do the RGB split effect in Premiere Pro. Now you may be wondering, what is this in your hand? This is my Christmas present. Well, as you can see, obviously I'm using it early, but I have permission to do that, so yeah. It's just, I'm just using it currently just because it feels like eh, I'm allowed to use it for this night. That I'm filming this on, which is Wednesday to me, Friday to you. This video is uploaded. So yeah, let's get in straight with the tutorial. You can call it whatever you wish to call it. You could even just call it Untitled One, but I called it Glitchy Hacks. And I don't know why it took me so long to call it that. So then you click in this empty space, choose the file you want to import. And then it imports it as you would assume if you're importing something. And then what you want to do is you want to go down into the description, download this file, and then take out the one that's a preset. And there you go. And then you go into Premiere. And then right click part preset, and then you import the preset that you've extracted out of that folder. And then you press OK or open or whichever one it is, and then you drag in the footage. By the way, if you're enjoying what you see, you should subscribe. And I edited the video down because it was so long, there wasn't really. And then I cut out the bit that I actually wanted to do the glitch effect to, which I probably shouldn't have done. Then I cut out quite a bit of this then, uh, then you zoom in to the part you want to add the glitchiness to and then you press alt and drag up and so there's three versions of the video track then you go into here drag in the blue green and red you want to make sure you do them all otherwise it won't move right and then when you put the final one in it'll look normal now there was an issue it was the fact that this preset has so many keyframes so they can't see them so I'm like well, I can't do much that's why the player is so far back so what I needed to do I needed to press N on my keyboard and I dragged out all the clips that had the red green and blue Hold on. if you're wondering what RGB means it means red green and blue and then I pressed the arrow in the effect controls and I pressed control A to select them all and I dragged them across and put them near the end where I wanted the glitchiness effect to be and then you have to do that for all channels so obviously I've sped it up because the video would be too long otherwise and we don't want a long video, do we? Then we lose viewers. Wait, what? So, after you have done them all, you, it's a good idea to check to see if it actually looks decent. You can always edit the parts where the keyframe actually are, if you feel it's necessary. And then you select them all, right click, nest, and that puts them in a new sequence, you can call it sequence whatever you wish and you drag on the final but again the thing's too short for the actual keyframe to work so then I had to go in and select them all and then make them bigger take, make sure it was alright and then go in here and then delete it, put it back in and then put in the final effect and then drag the ones across Put them at the same point of where the RGB glitch effect is. And then you go into the Lumetri color panel. You have to select all of these and then drag them to the exact same place as where you dragged the other ones. So when it lines up decently, you'll be like, yay, it works right.
So then just scroll through and check that it looks decent and it's to your satisfaction. So yeah, then you want to add a sound effect in, which I didn't do in the purposes of this video. But you can find your own sound effect and do whatever you wish. And then I put an in point in by pressing I. And then I put an out point in by pressing O. And then I pressed Control M. Then this dialog box comes up, and you click where it says whatever, and then you give it a name, call it a name, otherwise it'll be weird. Now it's fine, and I changed the bit rate to medium bit rate, so that it's a smaller file. And then I pressed export, and then it exports your thing. So guys, that is pretty much it for this video. If you did enjoy, please let me know. Here you can see on screen what the actual effect is on this certain clip. So yeah, if you want to see more tutorials, leave a like, let me know what you want to see. So yes, I would be back. Subscribe to my channel, and I am signing off.